talk about the basic anatomy of the knee joint. The knee joint, as you can see here, is a modified hinge joint which is formed by primarily three bones the thigh bone or the femur, the kneecap or the patella, and the shin bone or the tibia. And this is how the knee joint moves through one axis of motion. Connecting the two main bones, that is the thigh bone and the shin bone, you have essentially four ligaments. The ligaments at the sides are known as the collateral ligaments. As you can see, there are two crossed ligaments located on the interior called as the cruciate ligaments. In between both these bones, nature has provided us with these blue colored shock absorber cushions that we call as menisci. The ends of the bones are lined by a smooth articular cartilage which ensures the smooth functioning and the movement of the knee joint. The hip joint is a ball and socket joint which connects the axial skeleton that is the spine to the appendicular skeleton of your lower limb. It transmits weight from your leg to the axial skeleton. It is formed by the ball or the head of the femur and the socket or the acetabulum and this ensures a free painless movement of the hip joint. Lining the ball and the socket you have a smooth articular cartilage which ensures a smooth movement. Connecting the ball to the socket, nature has provided us with strong ligaments, capsule and muscles which prevent the ball from popping out of the socket.